Hey guys, and welcome to another video about Goddess Victory, Nikkei. And today, I want to open up a discussion about the potential SSR versions of the SR characters that we have now. A few things in the game, as well as some of the upcoming content coming to the game, have been pointing towards this being a possibility in the future. As always, if you like what you see and you have been watching my content for a while now, definitely hit the subscribe button, maybe even leave a like, and with all that out the way, let's jump right in. So yesterday, I put up a poll in my community tab asking if the players want to see an SSR version of the SR characters that we currently have. And the results were rather one-sided. A lot of people really wanted to see SSR versions of the SR characters, especially for the three main characters, Rappi, Anis, and Neon. I won't go into too much detail because I don't want to spoil the story, but there's actually something major that will happen to one of the main characters, and this thing that happens implies that she could be even more powerful, and this opens up a lot of possibilities for them to introduce the newfound version of a familiar character as a playable unit. And the first option they can do is a new banner featuring the new version of the character. We already know that this will be happening because Anne Miracle Fairy, which is a variant of N102, will be released after the Laplace banner. Miracle Fairy will be a completely separate character from N102, which means you can use both of them at the same time on the same team. Although we still don't know the rarity for this variant, it's possible that Miracle Fairy will be an SSR unit, or maybe they will add a new type of rarity for the upcoming character variants. We also have to wait for some more updates for a kit because I really feel like the alternate versions will be more than just a reskin for the character. I will be making a video about her kit the second we get that information, so make sure to subscribe and maybe even turn notifications on so you don't miss out on that. The other option they can go with for introducing SSR versions of other characters is doing something similar to the retrofit system in Azure Lane. For those who are not familiar with retrofit, it is basically an additional upgrade system which improves the character's existing kit and even adds an additional skill to the character. You will need to use materials obtained from the daily activities to upgrade the retrofit and after you max everything in this upgrade system, the character will get a new skin. I prefer this method over the first one since this is more accessible for most players because they don't necessarily have to depend on the gacha to get the version of a character. It might be asking too much, but it would also be great if you will be able to upgrade the SR characters up to level 200 after maxing out their retrofit or whatever the equivalent will be. The level 160 limit is actually a huge problem for most players. If you're only able to get your character to 160, you will be hard stuck after a few stages into chapter 15. So if they don't add another upgrade system aside from the levels, skills, cubes, and gear, the free-to-play and low spenders have little to no chance in progressing past chapter 15 anytime soon. They could also do something similar to what AFK Arena has, where after you reach a certain level for the characters in your crystal, you can then raise the maximum levels for your characters. And just so you know, the crystal in AFK Arena is basically the synchro device in Nikkei. This is overall a really good upgrade system that they can adapt in Nikkei, especially since we already have the system very similar to what they have in AFK Arena. And then they can just add the new skin for the character when you reach a certain level after the level cap is raised. These are just three of my most preferred ways of introducing variants of the characters that we have. I don't really mind which one they go for, even if they come up with something completely new, as long as it's not heavily paywalled and is achievable by the majority of the players. With all that being said, let me know how you think they should be introducing the new character variants and which character do you think should have their own variant as soon as possible. As always, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.